will enjoy the today's talk. Today's talk is entitled Friends in Korea, Similarities and Differences. Today's speaker, Sole Expo, will talk about this title and you can still learn about friends and dream of traveling to there. If you have any questions about today's talk, please write them down on your small sheet of paper. One of our talk volunteers can collect it from you and so that we will have a chance to answer your question about planning process which is led by one of our English speaking volunteers. Now, without any other hesitations, please welcome Sole with a big round of applause.
the desserts can be um, very light if you want to be healthy or if you don't have much time. So it can be yogurt or fruit. Or also uh, in the weekend if you go to a restaurant, we usually like to buy like apple tarts or even homemade um, chocolate cake followed by um, ice cream. We really, really like enjoying desserts. It's important for us to have desserts after the meal. Uh, the dinner in France is usually eaten around 8 p.m. I know that it's kind of late for Korea, but in France, uh, people come from work around 7 or 7.30, so the time that they cook dinner takes time. So we usually um, eat lighter food for dinner than for lunch. Uh, so we like to eat soup, uh, especially in winter, because it's made out of vegetables, so it's kind of light. And then either we eat the leftovers from lunch or a quick meal, like pasta, very quick to cook. Uh, people sometimes keep the cheese and bread part, uh, but some people like to keep it, and then followed by a like, light dessert, because it's dinner and it's late. Uh, this might be the image that you have of French food. This is, these are pictures that I took when I went to a very expensive French restaurant. Um, so it still has the three to four step process of appetizer, main meal and desserts. But this is not the common food we have in France. I think that in Korea, when you go to a French restaurant, it's this kind of food that you find. So you can find that too, but it's not the common French food. So these are all the Korean food that I tried. It's all different from French food. Uh, in France, we don't have street food so much. It's not common. Uh, even the meat is cooked differently in Korea. In France, we like big portions, and um, we have our own portions in Korea. You all share big plates. And it's really interesting. I love Korean food, but it's all different from French food. And then, um, I am now going to talk about a few uh, statistics that will help understand the cultural differences that can be seen uh, between France and Korea. So the Gulf of State model was created in the 1960s, 1970s, so it's kind of old and things have changed over time, but it can still be applied and helps us to understand the cultural differences that can be seen between French and Korea. So for me who's studying international business, it, help, <coughs> it helps us um, better manage the negotiations and uh, avoid conflicts or misunderstanding. So a few similarities that we can see is the power distance. So in France and Korea, the power distance is kind of high, so people accept uh, that there is a hierarchy, that people have their place in the hierarchy. Um, but we are both feminine countries. So it means that in France and in Korea, uh, caring for others and the quality of life is important. So standing out from the crowd is not seen as admirable in Korea or in France. Um, it's not one of the main um, uh, important like interests of the people. Uh, the uncertainty avoidance is also very high in uh, two countries. So it, it means that uh, we like to be secure. When we buy a car, uh, we want to be sure that it has all the the good um, security aspects. Uh, when we have a job, we want to keep it. We are afraid to lose it or to change the job because we are afraid of uncertainty. So we need rules uh, to control our lives. We went, like, I went to America and it's all different from France and Korea. Uh, here we really need rules, either in France or in Korea. Um, a few differences are individualism. Korea is, a way, is way more oriented towards a long-term commitment to the group, to the family, uh, to the people you work with, whereas in France we're more individualistic. Uh, at work, for example, um, when someone uh, made a mistake, it will be this person's fault, whereas in Korea the group uh, takes into account the, the mistake and it's the group's fault, so you don't just, just someone, it's the group. Uh, because in Korea, when you just um, judge someone, it, it leads to loss of uh, face, which is very uh, dramatic. Uh, whereas in France, if you tell someone that they made a mistake, 
they will accept it more easily and they will try to get better. So that's why we are not we are less afraid of judging the person by himself or herself. Uh, also, the indulgence aspect of this model uh, shows that Korea is a more restrained country. Uh, it means that uh, in France we really enjoy our leisure time. It is important for us to uh, go on vacation with your family, with your friends. It's important to have hobbies, but I feel like in Korea the job that you do is more important and you feel that um, enjoying your time um, is, is not as good because you feel restrained by uh, social norms. Uh, also, the long-term orientation factor uh, shows a high difference between France and Korea. Um, so Japan and Korea are very long-term oriented, you see far ahead. And in France, we, we, see, like, we see less further ahead because I think it's because we are more individualistic. We like to have short-term or like medium-term profits, whereas in Korea you see so much further ahead, so that you know that the the company you're working with, you want to work hard for it so that it becomes better over time. Whereas in France we're more like we want results right now. <laughs> so uh, here are some other fun facts about uh, friends that you may not know. So if you want to go shopping in France, the shops are open usually between 10 a.m. Uh, to 7 p.m. So here in Korea you can go shopping until 9 or 10 p.m. But in France everybody will, everything, every like store will be closed so you cannot go shopping after 7. Uh, also, it's, uh, the shops are open usually between Tuesday and Saturday. So Sunday and Monday morning are usually rest days, so we like our weekends. <laughs> so Sunday, all the shops are closed. So just to let you know if you want to travel with your friends. Um, also, when you are invited to someone's house for dinner or for lunch, we usually like to bring flowers, um, because we like flowers, it's great. And chocolates, because uh, it's very common to find chocolate shops in France, and everybody likes chocolates. We like sweets, we like, we like desserts, we like chocolates. And also wine is very common, especially if you have dinner with adults, you should bring a bottle of wine. It's really well seen. Uh, regarding the education, uh, so we can actually hear, but um, children in France go to kindergarten at three, and we are forced by the law to go to school until 16. Um, so the parents, even if the new technologies are evolving, the parents think that it is important for their children not to watch TV until 6 and not to go on the internet until 12. So nowadays people get have a smartphone uh, young, like when they're younger than before, but still like the time with the family is still important. We like to uh, read comics with our parents, we like to go on vacation. We're not so much uh, focused on new technologies. Um, so the last one is go on vacation with your friends at 16. So I myself went to on vacation with my friends with no parents when I was 16. So I went camping five days because in France it is important to just enjoy your time and go on vacation with your friends because this is how you um, you build yourself by traveling, by enjoying your time and having uh, hobbies. Um, regarding work and the relationships we have with our colleagues or you have with our colleagues, in Korea I have seen that uh, building uh, personal relationships is very important. So you usually have dinner with your colleagues or drinks, uh, or go have a drink with your colleagues, go to another airlines. But in France, uh, we, we don't share so much with our colleagues because we're more individualistic, so we just, um, we're like nice with our colleagues, but we don't call them by titles, we don't call them by family names. It's uh, more the use of informal language. We, we call our colleagues by first names. This is not rude in France to call someone by their first name. It's just a way of showing that you like them uh, that you have a good relationship with this person. But we don't necessarily go have dinner or lunch with our colleagues. Uh, in France, people work 35 hours a week, but when you add 
with the overtime, it goes on almost up until 40 hours a week, but it's still less than in Korea. Uh, usually, workers have five weeks of paid vacation per year, so that's a lot. My parents are shop owners, so they don't have these privileges, but their employees have all these privileges because it's, um, it's the law in France to work 35 hours a week and have five weeks of paid vacation. Uh, so here's a quick graph that shows uh, how much hours uh, French people usually work per year compared to Korean people. So we work less hours than Korean people. Uh, so here are the um, few partnerships that exist between France and Korea. So we share a long history because in, in 1866, a friendship and trade agreement was signed between our two countries. Uh, so next year we're going to celebrate the 131st day of this uh, friendship and trade agreement. Uh, so during the Korean War, uh, France sent more than 3,000 men to Korea to show its support to your country. Um, so the, the presidents of either France or Korea visit each other uh, quite often um, in order to, to keep this relationship between our two countries. Uh, we also have like, economic relationships, so because of all the trade agreements we have, uh, South Korea is the fourth trading partner for France, and France is the second European trading partner in Korea. So we share a lot of uh, import, export, and uh, also about technologies. Uh, so the KTX uh, is, I don't know if you know it, but it's a French-Korean uh, project. It is in inspired by the French uh, TGV, which is the fast train. So um, this shows all the relationships our countries share. Uh, so as I said, uh, in September this year, up until the end of 2016, uh, will be the celebration of the 130th birthday of the friendship agreement between our two countries. So you, there's going to be lots of cultural events. Um, our two countries will try to have co-production -produ co projects also, uh, technology uh, friendships and like relationships. So it's, I think this year we will have our two countries know more about each other, the other country. So both of our countries come from a nuclear uh, base and want to change toward renewable energy. Um, here I know that we like recycling. In France it's also very important. We have all the different like uh, bins for paper, glass, everything. It is important also for France. Um, so a few years ago, the working holiday visa was created between France and Korea that helps the students travel and work in uh, each other, like in the two countries. So this is very important because before it was very difficult to get a visa to come work here or study here. So now, nowadays it's easier to come visit the other country and discover about the culture. So 7,000 Korean students uh, are studying in France right now and more than 70,000 Koreans are studying French in Korea. So I think it is important to keep uh, improving this relationship and know more about each other, uh, like the two countries. Um, so in order to, to know more about our two countries and to avoid the miscommunication that I talked about a little bit earlier, um, the French Cultural Center was created in Seoul in 1968 and 12 years later followed by a Korean Cultural Center in Paris. There are also six Alliance Francaise in Korea. One of them is located in Gwangju. So you can go there, learn about France and the French culture. So they show uh, two French movies for free per week. So you can go there and watch French movies with Korean subtitles. So it helps you learn more about our culture. So we share um, values, so we both like uh, our cultural identity. Uh, so in France, um, we have awarded Korean movies. I don't know if you've heard about the Cannes Movie Festival. So all these movies have received an award from this movie festival. Uh, there is also uh, four um, square
square kilometer garden about the theme of soul that was created in the city of Paris so that people can go there and um, discover the, how gardens are made in Korea. Because gardens in France are all different from Korean gardens. Um, in Korea, you like more the French books. Uh, so more than a, a thousand French books are translated into Korean. And you might already know some of them. So, for example, Bernard Berber, Bere, I think that most of you have heard about him. He's not that famous in France, but here he's really famous. <laughs> I didn't know this person before coming here. But, yeah, you really like his books, so that's really good. There is also a baby thinking of, maybe you've heard about him. So he wrote a book, La Delicatesse, which was turned into a movie recently. It's a very good book and movie, so you should all watch it. <laughs> um, also, the, some values that we share between our two countries is the importance of beauty. So first, physical beauty for Korea and France is really important. In Korea, it's more about your skin, the health of your um, body and the health of your skin. Whereas in France, we like more the, how can I say, we like the, the identity and uniqueness of everybody. So that's why these advertising are more for um, makeup and perfume. Because uh, perfume is very unique. Um, and so it gives you uh, your identity, kind of. Whereas in Korea, it's more like everybody looks nice and healthy but no like important makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, plastic surgery is very important in Korea. In France, we don't advertise about it. Here, it's everywhere on the subway, in the newspaper. In France, we don't advertise about it because uh, we don't want to show that we want to change ourselves. Identity is important in France, so we try not to change ourselves. We try to accept our body, but not change it. Also, uh, the importance of natural beauty uh, is, um, I think that, yeah, the people in Korea and in France like natural beauty. Uh, Korea is a beautiful country. There are also, like lots of different <coughs> countries. I like you have mountains, you have fields, you have the ocean, lakes, rivers. It's beautiful. And I think you enjoy uh, your landscape. Same for us in France. Like we, the landscape is all different from Korean landscape, but we like to go hiking, we like to go fishing, and so uh, I think it's important to travel around the countryside. We have castles, we have lakes and um, rivers that are different, um, so yeah, I think it's important to travel uh, everywhere in the country, even in Korea. Like I, I try, I don't have much time, but I try to visit lots of uh, different cities. So here are um, a few pictures that will help you um, very easily and very efficiently understand the differences that we can see between our two cultures. So for, uh, first, the food that we eat is different. So the way we eat it is different. So in Korea, you like to drink hot water or soups uh, while you eat. And in France, we drink uh, cold water. We would not imagine drinking hot water while we eat. It's not imaginable. <laughs> and so we, because we eat more meat, and because our pieces are bigger, we need knives and forks. And in Korea, because everything is cut into tiny pieces, you can eat everything with chopsticks. So it's all different. Also, uh, the alcohol and what you eat is different because in Korea you produce rice, so you make soju. In France, we have lots of uh, grape fields. We produce um, grape in like lots of different regions of France, so we make wine. So it's all different. We also drink it differently. Uh, wine is more during the meal, and I guess that soju is more after. I'm not sure, but we drink it differently. Uh, as I said, uh, at work, the environment is all different. Here in Korea, you create teams, and the teams are really strong. Like you have team meetings all the time. You want to share information about all the members of the company. Whereas in France, we are all in our office. We all work for the same company, but we don't necessarily know all of our colleagues. Like 
sometimes you just say hello to people but you don't really know them, <laughs> even if they work in the same company. So yeah, this graph is really like really shows the different uh, the working environment between France and Korea. Also, as I said, uh, at 9 p.m. in Korea, you are still working. You do lots of overtime. Whereas in France, um, at 9, we like to watch movies with our parents or with our family. Uh, we, we maybe we still have dinner for some people at 9. We like to watch the news on TV. It's relaxed. <laughs> so at 9, we should not be working. You can be working up until... 7 or 7.30, but yeah, at 9 we, we're not working. Uh, so finally, um, I want to <coughs> sum up briefly and say that the two countries are very different. Like, uh, the food is totally different, the way you behave and you talk to your colleagues at work are totally different. But still, I think that we can uh, learn about each other we can try to understand the culture of the other and um, it's very uh, interesting to um, and, like, accept the differences in order to make it better and to um, by, yeah, by understanding the culture of the other you will uh, how can I say I think yeah you, you can change the, the way of in like you can help people know better and know more about France. Like here when I'm in Korea, there's the Eiffel Tower everywhere. There's a curry baguette, to the jure. Everything is French. But I feel like they don't really know about France. And same in, in French. I mean, in France, we don't, like, it's very difficult to find Korean classes. Uh, we, we, we can learn Chinese, we can learn Japanese, we have the mangas and everything. But Korea is not well represented. So I think it is important to, to share the culture and make people know more about the country so that we are not surprised um, when, yeah, when you come to France, I hope that people will understand and know more about Korea. Because um, if we don't know enough about the country. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to, to yeah, I, I just hope that like we can improve this relationship and knowledge about each other. So thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm. I hope you